everyone, Cynthia Luhu here. I just wanted to show you something um, that can be very easy and fun, and you can use your Lenny Stamp Gang to do it. See this plain, boring lampshade? Well, I'm thinking it needs some pizzazz because, you know, it's an element in my room, and um, it's going to be easy to alter and make look pretty cool. So, um, Let's see how this goes. I will fast play a lot of it and um, let you know what I'm using. Also, yeah, let's try this. Okay, so here is a um, peony scarlet red. It's beautiful. It's a nice, it's a nice dark pink. So if I use my um, some of my cotton candy pink and I just put it you know, down on my glass, and then I can put the corner of my brush in there and it'll darken that up. See? That added the color I needed. And if that's too strong, add a little water. There's all the micas, the magical micas, the starburst sprays, stains, glitz spritz, moon shadow mist, they all have their own binder in them. They, you don't need to add anything else. So that is a very, very rich, rich pink. So I'm going to go along the border. And I actually think that I'm going to add some more water and a little bit more cotton candy pink so it's not so dark. I have a beautiful puddle going on here. I'm going to add a little bit more cotton candy pink. And this is perfect. It's adding just enough pink. to layer this pink organza underneath. So all I'm going to do is cut and glue. Okay, so now I have covered all the way around with um, some pink organza, and I got this at Joann's, and some uh, white flat lace. Now I'm just going to pick out some trims that I'd like to put around the top and the bottom and then each of the corners, because I want to cover the lines. So I've got some trims here, and I'm just going to try them out and see how they look. I have this trim, and let's see. 
I'll just put that on there and see what I think. That's cute. I also have this beautiful trim, white. I want to get a lot of white and pink. And I like the ruffly look too. And there will definitely be some pearls and feathers. I also have this really pretty white lace. I don't know if I have enough to go all the way around. Probably not around the bottom, maybe around the top. Oh, that's just beautiful. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some beaded trim all the way around the sides. Okay, and this does have kind of a purple uh, lavender colored ribbon, which is okay because that will be covered. So this is the trim I'm going to use all the way around the bottom. Okay, so I'm going to use this trim, and this is a trim I found on eBay, and I'm going to go around the edge. I'm going to go around with this boa and I'm going to see about where that's going to be. Okay. I found a lace I like very much. Here it is.
Okay. So there's a, a view of that. And now onto flowers. So I have four roses. And these are from I Am Roses. And I have some Recollections Roses right here. So I'm thinking two, four, six, eight. Okay, and um, these colors are not what I'm looking for, so I'm going to go into my micas and find a real nice light pink. Okay, so I found scintillating silver, which will tone down the pinks. And since there's three different colors, it'll tone them all down in those different shades. So I really want to add some shimmer to this. So I'm just painting can cotton candy pink, starburst color shot. The center of these are just a little too um, orangey for me, so I'm going to replace them with one of these flowers. But now I'm just going to dip this in my cotton candy pink to give it some shimmer and a little bit of color. Okay, so now I've finished coloring in all my flowers, and I'm probably going to use these as accents around if, it, if I need more. So I'm going to set these aside, and on these I use Cotton Candy Pink Starburst Color Shot. I use the Peony Scarlet Red. I use the Scintillating Silver Mica, and I use the Sparkle Red Reflections, and I use this to tone down more of the red tones. Okay, so here is my finished Chevy Chic lampshade. After I added all my flowers, I went around and swagged pearls across and then added blings and little pearls. And then I added a strip of bling across the bottom. There's the dingles. This was a very quick and fun project and I was able to personalize um, you know, something in my house that, you know, was just boring and plain brown into something beautiful using my Lindy Stamp Gang and some trims and stuff that I already had. So, I hope you like this and try it, and if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.